Good evening and welcome to Realty Coffee Talk on Awaz Entertainment. My name is Tahir I. Qureshi. I'm a fellow of Rose Tissue of Canada, broker of record for City Pro Realty in Brokerage. Tonight we picked up a top of consumer be aware, new changes in real estate. As you are aware in our past uh, episode, we have indicated that effective 1st December, Trust in Real Estate Services Act will replace Real Estate Business Broker Act of 2002. And there were many changes were introduced and Real Estate Council of Ontario, that is a regulator, has shared videos for phase one, phase two, and they are part one, two, three, and four. Recently, they introduced part four, uh, educating registrants to comply with the regulation and prepare themselves. So why not we rebrief uh, what has been said in the past? What are the really key changes that are happening? So I'm going to try to uh, mention a few changes that are significant that will affect us. The effective 1st December 2003, uh, RIBA is no more. It will be Trust in Real Estate Services Act, TRISA, that will take over. First important thing that is taking over is that they are eliminating the consumer, uh, consumer customer service. This was a big complaint from consumer that we don't have any protection when you, you are acting as a, as a, 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 a customer, not as a client. You know what happened is when you have open house, you go there and you decided that uh, uh, you want to buy that property and seller agent or listing brokerage has uh, signed up and representing as a client, as a seller. So they will put you as a customer service, which put you in a very disadvantaged position. You may not have a privy to advise or guidance from real estate professional unless you decide to to become an, a, a, a client. So the TRISA will eliminate that customer service. So period, that is represented, uh, that um, uh, customer service is eliminated. Now, most of cases in our experience that uh, consumer have said during the open houses or wherever, uh, I am fully informed technology driven economy has created opportunity for us to gather the information. So we are well aware of it. I want to self-represent myself. So that means now under TRISA, self-representation is allowed, will be allowed on December 1st, 2023. So this is a new thing coming up under TRISA because many of you have either requested that I, we want to represent ourselves. We don't want any representation from realtors. And you want to buy multi-million dollar properties by yourself. So that option is now given to you. Only thing you will get information is the public information. You're not going to get any advice from a realtor. Or third option will be that you will enter into a, 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 a clientele relationship. Now, and it will, it will be asking you, do you want to be a client or are you going to be a self-representative? There is no more customer service. Third option that you will have now, which will be becoming effective on, is called a, 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 a designated representation. It is being practiced in many other parts of, uh, of Canada but it is first time being introduced now in Ontario. What this mean? And I want to explain you how it is working now and there still be an option even though the regulator encourages the broker to adopt designated representation. So I give you an example again. You go to an open house, is a agent of a brokerage is representing seller, then you have a B guy, a buyer says, I want to have a, a clientele relationship. So the realtor, uh, realtor number or salesperson B will represent the buyer 
and the A will represent the seller. So this is called multiple representation under RIBA because they're both are employed by the same brokerage. So the entire brokerage is under that multiple representation and then disclosure is required. Uh, it required the consent of the buyer and seller that they can represent them. Otherwise, the B cannot represent, a, uh, put an offer because they're both employed by the brokerage and the consent is required. And this is normally we use in the confirmation cooperation form. There's a one block say we both parties, buyer and seller, give consent that the brokerage can represent buyer and seller in a multiple representation in this transaction. So that is called a, a consent is required but prior to execution of BRA or submitting an offer. So you need the consent. Now, under this new arrangement designated representation agreement, the seller will be represented by a designated person. Now, consumer will have now choice to work with a particular agent, broker, or broker racket to represent them in buying or selling, in, in particularly in one brokerage. Because some brokerage are very big and sometimes, and most of the time, uh, they have to, to deal buying and selling together through the same brokerage. So you are in a multiple representation right now under EBA. It may be an exceptional case that uh, it, that practice may continue, but the, but the regulator or industry in the best interest of the consumer is a good idea to designate a real estate agent, broker or broker record that represent the seller and the other person designate the, the, the buyer. Therefore, you are not in a multiple representation. You are independently protecting your client. So the, the seller agent or broker will not share any motivation or personal information with about the seller with the, the, the buyer uh, designated representative, even though they're employee of the same brokerage. Similarly, the buyer broker will not share the motivation or personal information about, about the strategy, the information that buyer is sharing with the client even though they're both employed by the same brokerage. The other agent who are employee or working with the brokerage are not in a multiple representation because you have a designated uh, responsible realtors. So let's assume in my brokerage, I am representing the buyer and I have in my open house, somebody says, yes, I am interested in this property. I want to, to join. Uh, you, uh, I want to, to enter into an agency relationship. At that time, I will choose to appoint another broker in my brokerage to represent independently the buyer, to protect the interest of the buyer because I am the designated representative of the seller. So we negotiate, we make the deal, and transaction take place. And that's is now coming up now. That means when you used to sign listing agreement, that goes with the brokerage. And this is the choice the consumer has to make now. If you like a person, a, a, a agent, broker or broker record that you want him or her to perform the duties for listing or buying a, a real estate transaction, you are able to do that and this is, a big change from the way we have done in the business in the past because they have eliminated the customer service now and you have to deal with that. So now it's very, very important when you are, as a consumer, interviewing people to hire, to, to sell your property or to buy your property, you need to talk with them and you feel comfortable. Basically now, you are hiring the agent 
that's going to represent you. They're going to be designated and the entire other agent are not responsible. They're not part of the, of the multiple representation. However, the brokerage is responsible. I'm a complying officer for city producing brokerage. I'm responsible to make sure all the designated representative are representing in the best interest of their, our client. Because the client are still client of the brokerage, but they are being represented by those designated individuals who are representing buyer and seller. So this is very important. Now, if you're a consumer, I always want you to remember, our business in real estate is regulated by the government of Ontario. And Real Estate Council of Ontario is the regulator. They develop education program. When you complete education program, they register the sale person to, to get a license. Then they have a consumer protection program. They regulate a, a compliance program. And so in case there's a consumer have a complaint, they can uh, uh, go to rico.own.ca and they can write a complaint because they regulate this compliance process and number three, consumer protection program. The agency's main uh, uh, goal is consumer protection and creating a confidence, consumer confidence in real estate market. So because remember, uh, almost 30, 40% of our uh, 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 revenue across Canada is generated through real estate because there's lots of jobs are involved from various industries are involved in real estate. So it's very, very important the consumer have the confidence dealing with real estate professional. And also, they listen to you. And that's why the Ontario government has a regulator that governs the, the, their protocol under TRISA now, right now is the REBA, real estate, real estate and Business Broker Act 2002, is going to be TRISA as of December 1st. So it's very, very important that you have, uh, you have now understanding of that, that there is no customer service. Now you can have a self-representation, you can do that. You can hire, a, you can become a client. You can also designate a real estate agent that you want to work in a brokerage as of December 1st, 2003. Now what happens if you hire someone as, as a real estate professional to work with you, but somehow that you're not satisfied with the services. You will have the ability to talk to the broker record and the broker record may be able to change that. And we have to look at the more details if, if, if you're not satisfied, the, because broker of record is in complying officer under REBA and they have the responsibility to make sure the consumer are protected and in comply with. When we sign an agency relationship as a listing brokerage or buying brokerage, we have to dedicate time and effort to make sure the expectation that are created by this relationship is fulfilled in accordance with our REBA now, a Code of Ethics. And remember that we as a real estate professional licensed practitioners, we carry our license in our pocket. We have the obligation to make sure that we have agreed to dedicate to provide service to our client and they're satisfied. Anything we make commitment or any kind of uh, incentive uh, to inducement that you offer to sign an agreement, make sure they are in writing. And then you also fulfill your obligation because honesty, competency, professionalism, good ethics, and, and, and these are the part of our fiduciary duty under REBA. And as you know, there are changes are coming REBA where uh, a lot of things are moving from code of ethics to, um, to regulations. And penalties are very high now. And uh, under TRISA, the maximum penalty is now for one incident is 50,000 to the agent and 100,000 to the brokerage. These are changes. If you are a consumer, 
you want to learn about what's happening in real estate, uh, real estate council of Ontario or the regulator, he, they have put so much effort to put videos out for you to learn. Visit, please, visit reco.on.co and look at them. So many programs, buying, selling, is home inspection, uh, appraisal, so many guidelines and bulletins are there. And you have any question, you can go there, ask a question. Idea again is to creating consumer awareness, building confidence in consumer. Realty Coffee Talk I generated about seven, seven, eight years ago is about building confidence of consumer in real estate business, promoting good ethics and professional standards, ethical standards to follow. And this is the whole idea behind is to increase awareness of building consumer confidence in real estate. So if you have any question about this program, call me directly 416-451-3489. I'd be more than happy to help you. This is very, very important for, for all of us to educate you now. Most important thing, another one. Remember, we used to have a bidding wars and people used to complain about it. Oh, we don't know what the offer is. Only we are allowed under REBA to disclose the number of offers. We cannot disclose anything. Under TRISA, we, we have been given the, the authority to seek consent from the seller. So that means our client will determine if there is a bidding war situation to what to disclose or what to not to disclose. We cannot disclose private information. It's all about a property and all about the whatever the offers are, not about personal information. So now the seller have the authority to give written direction to real estate professional to disclose content of the offer, except that you don't disclose the private information name of the person who's submitting an offer. So that means, let's assume the buyer seller says that, uh, I, I, here's my final offer. Anybody want to increase the offer from a, a particular amount? It's in writing. Anybody can beat that price. Obviously, it comes with a condition. You cannot give an offer, beat the offer, and say close in five years. It doesn't make, make any sense. So you have certain criteria. Obviously, it's going to be very common sense what to disclose, not to disclose. The real thing is now seller has the right to direct the brokerage designated representative or the brokerage to disclose certain content of the offer to solicit further uh, offers, revised offers or counters in a, in a situation where it will be allowed. Remember the bottom line is con consent of the seller. Seller has to allow that what can be disclosed or not. This was a very common complaint. When remember, we have a multiple offers and still certain area, depending on the value of property, you still have a multiple offers. So now we can disclose that except number of offers. But then you will also have 1st of December if the, if the seller wants to share that, because this is one of the strategy. Sometimes the real estate professional or the seller tell them, to list low to see competition. At that time, if offer comes and is still not meeting the needs of the seller, they might disclose that. Only thing you have to remember one thing, when you have the offer, that's the first time the buyer has given you the offer. As a seller, have to remember that when you counter, when you ask someone to counter, their offer is dead, null, and void because now you have new offers to come in. What will happen if you reject all offers and you want a new offer? Or, and you may have a good offer, but the, 
uh, you thought that you will get more, it didn't happen. Nobody come back to you. You lose all of them. Or you may choose to give counter to one. And they might not come back again. Or you said, I, I agree with certain thing except one. So you're countering the moment you counter an offer from a buyer, that offer is no more valid. It's your offer with them. In a certain period of time, they're irrevocable until they come back to you. So certain things now are allowed, and those will be consent of the seller to share information. This is very important now to understand that, that you are now have this uh, authorized under TRISA if the seller consent to share in certain information without private information, then you may be able to do that. Best thing is that you always seek an advice. So there are changes coming as of, uh, as of uh, 1st December 2003. There are multiple uh, you know, um, issues that come along. It's very important for you to learn that. That means you have to learn these things, experience, watch this. We have a realtycoffeetalk.com where we accumulated for all the episodes that we have shared on Awaz Entertainment. And you can watch them on awazent.com website. Also, realtycoffeetalk.com has the episode. You can go to my YouTube channel and learn. This is the biggest financial decision of your life when you're buying this property. Remember, the real estate profession who are registrar in Ontario, they have a tremendous responsibility not only to acquire education knowledge to get the license and practice, they have a continuing education. Every two years, they have to do so much training to keep them sharp and, and ready to serve you and protect your interests. So, are you going to put yourself in such a risk which where the, the value of the property has skyrocketed and you not have a representation? My choice will be yours. You are watching Realty Coffee Talk and Awaz Entertainment, and we're talking about com- consumer be aware, new chain in real estate. We're going to take a short break. We'll come back and we'll continue our conversation, new, cha- new changes in real estate. हसीन लगना तो सभी चाहते हैं मगर हुसन का निखार तभी मुमकिन है जब आपका स्टाइलिस्ट हो एक्सपर्ट एंड क्वालिफाइड ब्यूटी बार एंड ब्राइडल ऑल एक्सपर्टीज इन वन पॉइंट हमारे यहाँ थ्रेडिंग लेटेस्ट फेशियल ट्रीटमेंट बेस्ट बॉडी वैक्सिंग मेकओवर जैसा आप चाहें जबरदस्त ब्राइडल पैकेज मैनिक्योर पैनिक्योर कैरेटन ट्रीटमेंट ट्रायो हेयर ट्रीटमेंट और बहुत कुछ जो आपके हुसन को चार चांद लगा दे तो देर किस बात की अभी विजिट कीजिए ब्यूटी बार एंड ब्राइडल वी आर लोकेटेड एट 5150 डिक्सी रोड यूनिट 6 मिसेस सोगा अवार्ड विनिंग इंडियन ब्यूटी सैलोन फॉर अपॉइंटमेंट्स कॉल नाउ 4373242885 ब्यूटी बार एंड ब्राइडल वन स्टॉप ब्यूटी सैलोन मशी तहजीब की खूबसूरत दास्तान मरसों से चली आ रही रिवायतों का पासबान खुशबू और जायके का वही कदरदान करते हैं हर खाने में अपने लज्जत का एहतमाम हर पकवान है बेमिसाल हर खुशबू है लाजवाब कड़ाही पॉइंट जायका ऐसा कि दिल जीत ले आज ही हमारे कड़ाही पॉइंट तशरीफ लाए और अपनी खुशियों को हमारे संग मनाए कड़ाही पॉइंट मेड विद क्वालिटी एंड फ्लेवर विद पैशन पॉपाइज हैज ओपन्ड अ ब्रांड न्यू लोकेशन इन डाउनटाउन वैंकूवर सेटिस्फाई योर क्रेविंग फॉर केजन एट दिस न्यू लोकेशन ऑफ वेस्ट जॉर्जिया एंड हैमिल्टन स्ट्रीट वेयर यू विल फाइंड ऑल योर फेवरेट लुइजियाना इंस्पायर्ड मेन्यू आइटम्स We sampled the unrivaled trio of sandwiches, the classic, the deluxe, and the black and deluxe chicken sandwich, and all were delicious. All of the signature fried chicken is marinated for 12 hours, then hand battered and breaded served with Cajun fries and mac and cheese on the side. Plus for a limited time, you can try Popeye's crispy chicken wrap, available now until September 3rd. Check out the new Popeye's location at 700 Hamilton Street today. Who are you bringing with you? Tag them in the comments. 
This is the latest opening in BC for Popeyes, with more openings coming soon in both Alberta and BC by PLK Group. Love that chicken from Popeyes. आदाब नमस्ते और सत जब भी बात होती है कार एक्सीडेंट की तो हम तलाश करते हैं एक लॉयर को और हमारे पास मौजूद हैं चैंपियन जी हाँ डेविड हेमोफार Yes, thank you. I'm David Himmelfarb. I have over 30 years experience in personal injury matters. We have a downtown Toronto location with over 22 lawyers to service you. And we speak your language, Urdu, Punjabi and Hindi. We have a great community liaison, Anjum Qureshi. Yes, you can call us at 416-570-0157. HK Movers home offices apartments and delivery big or small we move it all HK Movers local and long distance we also ship cars Keller Transport and moving services for service with a smile give us a call call Mr Harminder 416 524 6704 416 524 6704 advance boulevard unit number 10 Brampton long distance moving specialist HK Movers HK Movers मैं नासिर शाह आपका मोर्गे ब्रोकर अगर आपको मोर्गे चाहिए किसी तरह की होटल लेना है मोटर लेना है गैस स्टेशन लेना है या किसी प्लाजे में कोई यूनिट बाई करना है तो उसके लिए आप हमें कॉल करें हम दो चीजों की गारंटी करते हैं आपको बेस्ट हम इंकनेशन और बेस्ट रेट दिलाएंगे आप कॉल करें सिक्स फोर सेवन सेवन फोर वन नाइन थाउजेंड सिक्स फोर सेवन सेवन फोर वन नाइन थाउजेंड आदाब नमस्ते और सत जब भी बात होती है कार एक्सीडेंट की तो हम तलाश करते हैं एक लॉयर को और हमारे पास मौजूद हैं चैंपियन जी हाँ डेविड है डिक्सी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स और अप्लायसेस पिछले सोलह सालों ऐसी खरीदारों की खिदमत कर रहे हैं हम लगातार चार सालों ऐसी खरीदारों की पहली पसंद बने रहने का अवार्ड हासिल कर चुके हैं हम किचनर्स बॉश वर्लपुर एल जी सैमसंग और जनरल इलेक्ट्रिक के ऑथोराइज डीलर हैं। फाइव स्टार खिदमत का लुत्फ लें। हम आप सभी को टी सबसे ज्यादा रियायती दामों पर देने की गारंटी देते हैं www.dixieelectronics.ca हमारी वेबसाइट पर जाएं या अभी कॉल करें 9056255900 सभी बहुत ही मुनासिब कीमत पर दस्तियाब है जो आप बासानी ऐसी ले सकते हैं एट डिक्सी We sell quality and deliver confidence. Five nine double zero. सभी बहुत ही मुनासिब कीमत पर दस्तियाब हैं, जो आप बा आसानी से ले सकते हैं. At Dixie, we sell quality and deliver confidence. Good evening and welcome to Realty Coffee Talk on Awaz Entertainment in Canada, around the world. My name is Tahir Aykroshi. I'm a fellow of Rose Issue of Canada, broker of record, facility pro realty in brokerage. Realty Coffee Talk was created about 7 years ago 7 8 years ago to increase awareness and building consumer confidence in real estate and promoting good act, act, ethics and practices in real estate profession every time we learn few things are coming because either you have industry changes or you have regulatory changes industry is our industry is divided into three categories first is regulator that registered and give license and they have a compliance program and a consumer protection program regular real estate council of ontario then we have organized real estate organized real estate has two category we have canadian real estate association that's a federal institution where all realtors across canada are members and they lobby or discuss any re regulatory changes that affect real estate across canada then we have ontario real estate association that deals with it used to educate but now this has been passed on to another uh, umber college therefore they are lobbying and they also look after the interest new changes i think right now the health related insurance program is into being introduced so they lobby ontario Ontario government Ontario when they come up with changes that impact real estate profession in Ontario. Then we have a trade organization such as Mississauga Real Estate Board, Toronto Regional Real Estate Board, and many other boards. They serve the membership 
at the city level. And, and they are also provide access to MLS system and also the realtor.ca that you enjoy is paid by the realtors fee. We pay for that and you have access to the listing on realtor.ca. And when you are being asked to search, when you're searching the property, basically is being served by all of us who are member of Canadian Real Estate Association that regulate the MLS system. So anytime you are hiring someone, he or she is working for a brokerage. So the brokerage could be an individual person registered with RICO, or it could be a partnership as a brokerage, two people, or is a corporation like my brokerage or majority of the brokerage. We are city producing is brokerage. We are licensed as a brokerage. And then we hire, I'm a compliant officer and a broker of record. And then we have employee working for us. This is the whole process. So when there are any changes coming from the regulator, which is RICO, we do education, we seminar, we share things. RICO is doing an amazing job to educate consumer as well as registrants to make sure they comply with it. Now, as we talk about consumer, we are aware the new thing under TRISA is coming that the RICO information guide is coming out. It's going to be a, a significant pages. Remember, you used to have a one pager working with a realtor or two pager brochure working with a realtor for res, residential and commercial. Now it's going to be RICO information guideline explaining the relationship. Whether you are a self representative party, you're going to be a client party, a, a, a client or other information buying and selling process. So it'd be very detailed, or it will give you the opportunity to choose what option that you want to do it. Similarly, when brokerage has to, when you reach out to brokerage and you explain your, your needs in a confidential manner, then the brokerage will decide which is the best scenario to protect your interest and provide the best service. Remember when you have uh, uh, chosen a designated person, that means you're confident with that person, that person will be handling your real estate. Nobody else has the obligation to do that. He or she will be dealing with it. So this is why it's very important. Remember that, keep visiting rico.on.ca, these guidelines, RICO information guidelines must be shared with the consumer when they are making a decision to hire a brokerage with a designated or non-designated representative, brokerage, or self-represented relationship. It should be available. Keep checking rico.on.ca and you do that. Your agent, we as a real estate professional license, we have the obligation to share that information with you. That, that uh, uh, working with a realtor will become absolute on, on December 1st, and we have to use legal guidelines. Now, the, the, the new registration will give power to RICO to operate more efficiently and compliance and enforce effort where most effective are. There are certain areas that there was, it lacks the, the power and strength that is needed. So trees have provide that. So they are going to revamp the code of ethics uh, that focuses on ethical obligation, including provision around conflict of interest and confidentiality. This has been a complaint about consumer, about registrant or the brokerage are not complying. There is a conflict they don't disclose. For example, if I list a property and the person is my son listing a property, I don't disclose that. And the buyer buy the property and learn out that the, 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 the seller was my client, my, my son, for example. So disclosure is a key and also keeping information confidential. You know, when, you, when the client comes to you, they're vulnerable. They need your help. They, they, they want you to help to, to, to not to disclose information that will jeopardize them. For example, if your 
client has a financial difficulty and if they don't sell a property in a certain time frame, they run to default. And these are very critical and private information. You don't disclose the motivation of the seller why they are selling the property. You are selling a property and based on their needs, you have discussed with their direction, you, you put the property in the market and you represent them if you're a designated representative. They, the Ontario government, uh, particularly a real estate council of Ontario, prefer that we adopt designated uh, representation, which is, which is the case. It's not required by them, but it's the best interest. There are possibility there are certain cases where the small brokerage with two, three people, there is a potential that we will have to seek some guidance where designation is not possible practically in like my brokerage is very small brokerage. So we have to seek a little bit more clarity on that, but it's very, very important that we need to protect the consumer interest. And also the, the new regulation will also uh, revise the recourse of discipline committee composition and procedures because penalty has been increased now to fifty thousand uh, dollars to the to the uh, to the registrant and also hundred thousand to the brokerage so there are some rules they are more relevant to to the, the, the registrant than the consumer however if you feel uh, that you uh, you have uh, somebody has not uh, follow the, your commitment that signed by a registrant, you can always reach out to Real Estate Council of Ontario and, uh, and, and they will provide you guidance and procedures how to complain. Very simple. You go to rico.on.ca and if somebody has uh, done something wrong, lots of people promise when they're trying to enter into a buyer representation, oh, I give you this, I give you compensation, I give you $1,000, $10,000, whatever. That's whatever happens, they walk away. It was a verbal, not in writing. No, 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 no. Rico, expect that. If you have make a verbal commitment, it should be in writing in your BRA or even seller representation agreement. It should be in writing. So you cannot walk away. Or if you promise that you can install a new air condition or provide them a dishwasher, it has to be in writing. But verbally, when you made a commitment, the buyer or a complainant, a consumer, is not going to go to RICO because the guy promised. In fact, you have promised it. And because you are a licensed practitioner, you have a court of ethics, you have obligation under RIBA now and, and TRISA on December 1st, they expect you to comply and not to do uh, those things that become un, uh, un, unprofessional, ethical, misrepresentation. So be honest, be competent. And I, I always suggest when you're doing a BRA or selling representation, put everything in Schedule A, spell out. Then you have a very clear guidelines which area you are buying it, how much value they have, they have approvals what type of property they want, and they have the, a budget, and the, the school they want, street they want, you know, whatever hospital, they want to go to close the hospital, their, their parents are o older and they need some help. All those requirements, size of the unit, house, square footage, lot size, width, whatever they want, put them in Schedule A of the listing agreement or BRA. Therefore, you are know exactly what you're doing. I hope that you have uh, any questions, uh, you have understanding that new changes are coming in real estate. I'm going to repeat them quickly. There is no more customer service as of December 1st. You can have a, a, a designated representation as of December 1st, uh, 23. Uh, you can be a client and uh, de designated representative represent buyer a separate representative for the seller agent and the brokerage is not in a multiple representation. Exceptional may happen. It's not required, but mostly, preferably, everybody will go to a designation program. But exceptional may happen, certain situation. The broker of record and complying officer has to play a big role to make sure the consumer interest is protected. 
You are watching Realty Coffee Talk on Awaz Entertainment. We broadcast this program every Thursday at 7 p.m. on Awaz Entertainment in Canada around the world. If you want to watch all episodes, you can go to YouTube, my channel, Tahirai Qureshi. You can watch all these episodes or go to realtycoffeetalk.com and you can click and subscribe my YouTube channel. If you have any question, more than happy to answer. My direct number is 416-451-3489. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next Thursday at 7 p.m. May God bless you all. May God bless Canada. Bye for now.